Good. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, so no, that's fine. It's going. That's all we have to have. All right, we're going to give you a nickname. How about we call you Amazon? Is that a good nickname? He's like, I don't uh, care. He's a little bit nervous. Amazon, you're having some pain in the back here, aren't you? Why don't you tell us, uh, tell us what kind of pain you're having? Uh, sharp pain under the shoulder blade and into the arm. Yep, kind of radiates across, right? Yep. It's worse at night. No? Mm, I'm doing the sleep and fill at night, so ah, okay. it's okay. All right. Can you get iodine? No. Gonna, yeah, I guess I will. Yeah, that sounds good. I like the iodine idea. Okay, so what we've diagnosed you with is a, uh, is a bursitis. And we're going to put a little cortisone in here for you. How's that sound? Pretty exciting, right? Let you know in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> You're a little bit skeptical. Now, you don't mind if we videotape this, do you? No. Making a little dimple here so I can find the spot. We're actually going to go in a couple of spots here. Great. Well, you know, just one way of doing this. There we go. We're going to angle in. You ever had anything like this done before? Nope. I need hand and gloves. <laughs> that was their own fault. I know. It's okay. I was busy adjusting. Uh, so we're using the GoPro. Uh, it's my second try I think. We tried it yesterday but couldn't get any vo uh, audio and uh, so I fixed that problem. So now we've it's got audio. not that smart with the, with the electronics. I'm really not. I'm kind of a beginner. Thank you. I'm trying to hold my head still. So we're going to kind of paint this area up a little bit here with some iodine. Uh, alcohol pads. I'll just give it another one. Uh, so is there a what causes this or is it just inflammation? You could have been doing certain kinds of work. Don't squirt it on me. Thank you. No, I don't want to get it on me. I'm doing three? Well, three little spots, yeah. Okay. You have the four by fours on the other side. All right, I'm ready. Mr. Amazon, are you ready? I don't know what to expect here. So okay. Cold spray gonna first. We're going to spray some cold spray on you. It's going to run so down your back and give you the chills. So and then we're going to inject one, you. Let's one, do the top one first. Two, three. Sorry. Ooh, there we go. Now you're going to feel a little stick. We're going to okay. go this direction, and we're going to push a little medicine under there. Breathe, just breathe. We're going to come back out, and little Gonzo's going to hit the second one for us. We're going to do the same thing, a little stick. We're sliding in right under the shoulder blade there, right under the scapula. Good. Now we're coming back right. out. We're going to get the third one. Two, three, and right in there. Just breathe. And we're going to do the same thing there. Good. And we're done. You're done. How was that, bud? Not bad. Wasn't too bad, was it? No, I like the folks. <laughs> like the cold spray. <laughs> They've been doing that on my hands. Oh, really? For work, so I'm oh, that's the liquid nitrogen. We just use ethyl chloride. It doesn't yeah, actually it's freeze not, like it's that. It's not as bad, but yeah, I know yeah. The, it, it helps. <laughs> All right, so that's technically a soft tissue injection, and what we try to do again is just slide up underneath the scapula so we could hit those, hit the bursa in there and give you some pain relief. Okay. Now, tonight, uh, I want you to ice this area for about 20 minutes. Do it about an hour before you go to bed. I'm going to give you a prescription, you know, for some pain pills like we talked about and things like that because this doesn't always work, you know. It's okay. it's it's fairly reliable and I think we did a pretty good job of getting into the right place there. So, I think you got a good shot that uh, tonight it's going to feel better and then uh, maybe maybe 60/40 and then by tomorrow night maybe 70/30 and then by the next night maybe 80/20. Okay. All right? Is this something we treat and it should go away or is this a once you have it recurring or no, they don't know? That's a great question. This should be a one-time deal unless you're performing some kind of activity that's particularly difficult on this part of the body. Most people, this is not something that continues to return. Okay. All right? Cool. Good job, man. Thanks. Hey, folks. It's Adam from 911, and today we're taking a look at Meta 7. I've been taking Meta 7 for about two years now, and it really, really boosts my metabolism. It gets my day going, kind of like the effects of caffeine, except without the jitters, without the heart palpitations, without all the negative side effects. Now, you're going to want to take Meta 7 for a week or two before you really notice a difference. But if you're looking to lose weight and feel better, I'm a big fan of Meta 7. Go ahead and try it today. If your diet isn't what it should be, if you're getting headaches, if you're getting tired in the day, just not having the level of energy you did when you were young, Meta7 can help boost that. Boost your metabolism. Check out Meta7.